Hey, what is up awesome people? Shady Wags here and in Pixar, the farming is just a little bit different than in an arc and that actually messed me up a little bit. So I want to share this information with you so you don't make the same mistakes as I did. Now in regular arc, you plant your crops using the small, medium and large crop plots. And if we search in Pixar, there is a large crop plot Ingram that is unlocked at level 50. Now, since Pixar is very similar to Ark in many ways, my assumption was that I wasn't going to be able to farm till I unlocked that large crop plot at 50. Well, that is not the case. You can see here that once I unlocked and placed down the crop plot, the seeds would not even go into the plot inventory. For most of the seeds, all you need to do is actually plant them in a block of dirt and make sure that block of dirt is receiving water. That's all you need to do. So to make a farm plot, you're going to need to have the stone or metal intake and tap unlocked. You're also going to need vertical and possibly horizontal piping. I'm going to go ahead and place my water tap down right here. And I want to make sure wherever I place that tap that I have three blocks on each side of it that I can change out the dirt or they're already dirt. Now I'm going to attach my first pipe and say I want to start my farm right here. This is going to be the top of the plot. I'm going to count three blocks and then the fourth block is where I want to place the tap. So this is what I want it to look like. Now I'll go through and I'm going to remove foundations in a six block wide by seven block long grid. And that's because if we inspect the tap, we can see that it's going to provide water to any blocks within a three block range. Now I don't remove the foundations where there is piping just because I did have some issues planting and harvesting crops from the blocks that there were pipes on. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill all those empty blocks back in with dirt. Then all you have to do is place a seed on your hot bar, equip the seed, and then place it on an empty dirt tile. And if we inspect that tile, you're going to see that it is now growing. If you plant any seeds outside of that three tile range of the tap, they're not going to receive any water and they will eventually die. And that is it. That is all you have to do. You don't have to use fertilizer or anything like that. You're just going to wait for them to grow and then harvest them. Now, most of the seeds, including trees, are planted this way with a couple of exceptions. The first one is the ice lotus seed. You can't place that on a dirt tile. You need to place it on a snow tile, but you don't have to fertilize it. The next two are the ancient lotus and the muscapula seed, the Venus flytrap looking plants that are in the jungle. Don't put those on your toolbar because if you attempt to equip either one of those, you're going to eat them. Now both of those seeds you place into a large crop plot. You're still going to need to irrigate the crop plot and this time you're going to have to put fertilizer into the plot in order for those seeds to grow. Then it's just a matter of waiting for the crops or the plants to go through the stages and reach the mature stage. Once they are mature, then they're ready to harvest and you can harvest them by hand or with a metal sickle. You can also use a parasaur or a triceratops. If you use a parasaur, you're going to yield more of the crops. Or if you use the triceratops, you're also going to have more of a chance of getting seeds along with your crop yield. The plants in the crop plot, once they reach maturity, they're going to begin requiring fertilizer to remain active. That is basically their fuel. And you can also change their targeting and you can turn them off by putting them to sleep. So there are a little bit of differences than the farming in Ark Survival Evolved. It's actually a little bit easier in Pixar. So I hope this video helps you out. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Yeah. Shady Wags got your back. It's so entertaining. You need to subscribe to get your back. Game and gameplay and reviews. Even doing walkthroughs. This the best gaming channel. I'm just telling you the truth. PS4, Xbox One, or even PC. Plenty tips, all the tricks. This is just what you need.